Hello, and welcome to channel Ein R. Key, and I am your host, Voluntary. So today, I want to talk to you about... Not so fast, Voluntary. Oh no, it's my evil twin, Involuntary. Yes, and today the show is mine. Instead of just making vapid complaints about the government, I'm going to use government to solve society's real problems. <laughs> it appears that YouTube is not allowing content that questions this election. Well, it's about time. There aren't enough checks on misinformation, and it is good to see various entities like Facebook and YouTube stepping up to close the gap. Sure, some people are going to complain about free speech. Why do they need the freedom to spread misinformation? Sure, they think it's accurate, but if it was accurate, then wouldn't the major media networks be reporting it already? If it was accurate... Wouldn't our political leaders be telling us so? You don't need the freedom to be wrong. Doubting the outcome of the election is crazy. The election was run by the government, so we can trust it. If there had been any irregularities, the government would have mentioned it. There have been some races around the country where various local races are being redone because of irregularities, so therefore other races in other jurisdictions cannot be wrong or manipulated. Now, those who are creating doubt about this election are actually trying to undermine the government. That means they should be considered criminals. The big question as a result of this election is, in fact, what should be done with Trump supporters? Some people are saying that there needs to be time to heal, but is that really the right thing to do? The destabilization that occurred needs to be dealt with. The way to heal, then, is to do some re-education. Preventing misinformation from getting out is only a good first step. They should only be allowed to participate in civil society once they have demonstrated a positive ability to behave. Anyone who supported Trump then should not be allowed to vote or hold office until they complete their civics training classes. These restrictions may seem light, but in order to heal, extreme punishments are needed in this case. There is no need for retraining schools. They can continue to go to work if they still have a job. More restrictive measures are only necessary in response to the COVID vaccine. We know it is safe because the government told us it is. Conspiracy theorists who say it's unsafe shouldn't be allowed to spread misinformation because that's not what freedom of speech is for. The government doesn't actually have the power to make them take the vaccine. But there can be restrictions put on anyone who refuses the vaccine. They can be made to not be able to go to work or go shopping if they refuse to get the vaccine. We're not actually making anyone take the vaccine. We're just putting restrictions on those who won't get it. So, no going to work, no going to the store, no going to any public park or government buildings. They could try to sue, but they're not allowed in court because they're not vaccinated. And this is being done for the public good anyway. That's what we're told, so that makes it true. They're not actually forced to take the vaccine. It's up to them. So that should satisfy all those selfish conspiracy theorists who talk about things like rights. Coming to a new year, so it's time to clean up the messes from 2020. This looks like a great way to start. That's enough, Involuntary. I'm taking my channel back. It should be noted that Involuntary's views are not the views of Voluntary, nor are they the views of the Einarchy channel in general. Thank you for watching. We're now in the double digits for subscribers, and hopefully we will only keep growing. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe to help my channel grow.